the sin we have committed by gluttony. And for the sin we have committed by succumbing to despair. For the sin we have committed by stubbornness. And for the sin we have committed by rashly judging others. O Lord, before I was born, I had you see that guy in the corner? Now the dark hair. That's Ben Feldman, M and A J P Morgan. He has no chin. Mother, be quiet. He recently separated from his wife. Some chicks are from Idaho. She could do better. She could. You could do better. Mother, mother, would you stop feeding her perfectionism? You did the same thing with Larry. I didn't like him either. What's not to like? The man was a prince. I didn't care for him. What do you mean you didn't care for me? He had no sex appeal. Mother Shah, he's right over there. Purge them away, O God of mercy. Marriage is the hardest thing we do. She is 28 years old. She hasn't dated in a year. I'm afraid she'll be alone forever. Shut up, I'm atoning. Speechless, perplexed. Oh, thank you, Holly. Oh, and I heard that chalice with the thing. Two umlauts both use. Right, right, right. <gasps> oh, my God! <laughs> oh, congratulations! Thank you! Okay, you're glowing. Are you thrilled? Oh, let's see. I can't drink, smoke, or eat sushi for nine months. Honestly, I'm panicked. Oh, my God. Did you guys celebrate last night? So yeah. Oh, God. Matthew's so excited. Oh, guys. Myers! Uh, I gotta talk to you. Uncle Chuck, did you get my okay. email? Oh, yeah, um, deep seated. Who knew? Right, it has nothing to do with seeds, it refers to how deeply something okay. is okay. set. Did you Sorry, tell me what this is? Shit! Well, no problem, don't worry about it. What is this? What did you do to this? What? This? What? This profile, you got it. You totally got it. Yeah, well, it was sappy and long winded. You practically went down on the guy. Went down on the guy? Okay, you know what, Myers? This is one of the great. Records of our time. I think I think he merits a little praise in the lead. It's an article, Stein, not 
the Pope face. It's a tribute, not an estate sale. This is an artist. We can't afford an adjective for him. That one, I mean, I think it was a really good piece. It was well Stein. written. It was clear. Stein. It had heart. It was... Stein. Deep. Yeah. Your phone is ringing. What? Your phone is ringing. Hey, Jesse! Oh, hey, Danny, I'm sorry. I got some news! Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just... You can't tell Mom and Dad yet, okay? Oh, yeah, okay. Are you sitting down? Uh-huh. <laughs> I propose to rage. I'm getting married! Wow! Wow! It is not inertia alone that is responsible for human relationships repeating themselves from case to case, indescribably monotonous and unrenewed. It is shyness before any sort of new unforeseeable experience with which one does not think oneself able to cope. But only someone who is ready for everything who excludes nothing, not even the most enigmatical, will live the relation to another as something alive. God, this is great. This is great. I am so glad that you asked me to do this. I mean, it was so bold of you to come up to me in the gym. I, I thought I'd finally give it a shot, you know. Sometimes you, you seem so focused on your workout, I wasn't even sure to talk oh, to me, you yeah. know. <laughs> That's just, I think, the whole gestalt of the gym thing, you know. I mean, it's so narcissistic and shallow. I think we all try to maintain a certain anonymity while we're no, no, there. No, you know? no, I, I disagree with you there. I really love working out. I mean, granted, it is a little narcissistic, as you say, but I really get a high, you know, from all those Dorfman's pumping and all. So, um, you're a writer. That's, uh, that's amazing. Oh. Hi, hey. hi. I'm sorry I'm so late. Hey, you're right on time. What? I'm an hour late. No, no. You are right on time. Hey, Tarbender, the lady will have a... Uh, I, mean, I, I will have a uh, frozen strawberry margarita with salt, please. Well, I see great minds think alike. <laughs> uh, we split the salad, but I think, as I recall, you ate a little bit more, including more of the arugula, which is one of the more expensive greens. I didn't have any of the goat cheese. I'm allergic. No dessert. Easy enough. That leaves your portion at 42.73 and mine at 18.14. Beautiful. Perfect. Do you have exact change? It's so funny, Jessica. But I go out with a lot of girls. <laughs> a lot. And I just, I don't know, I just feel so, so comfortable with you. So at home, so free to be myself. I and mean, normally I'm, um, I'm pretty self-defecating guy. Let me tell you something. You're fat. I'd love to see you twirl in that dress. With a PH. <laughs> oh, okay. As it were, per se. I like the way your hair goes around your head like that. You know what I mean? You know? <laughs> That's so fun. What's not to get? I think we're connecting. And I'd like to represent you as your accountant and your boyfriend. That's at all possible. <laughs> loves us. The reviewer is creaming in her pants. So exhale, please, okay? This bag has been like solid concrete all night. Oh, your boyfriend has on his serial killer face again. He's scaring some of the guests. Huh? He's been a little needy lately. I'll talk to him. Oh. 
I like I'm this. sorry, it's just my cab driver was Ukrainian and my slob is only so-so. So, so. so do you want to do something later? I mean, I'm going to be in the library later. Oh, yeah? In the 16th century archive. Mm-hmm. Nude. With a bookmark dangling precariously off the line. Stick. So, I'll be waiting for you. Yeah. Should I uh, bring anything? Just your unbelievable body. And a photo ID. And a library card. Pick up. Oh, yes, right this way, please. and destroy this relationship. We're not in a relationship. We're in a situation. You have to stop right now. Yes, and I'm sure your wife feels the same way. Listen, I gotta babysit this show. What are you doing later? How's 11 for you? How's right now for you? Oh. Thanks very much. How does this Does it make you hot? Does it scare you? Does it minimize you as a man? It's the one thing I haven't experienced. Of course it's time, sweetie. You go on with your frisky self, and don't let Mr. Fuddy Duddy piss on your parade. Thank you. Mar? Mm-hmm. Mwah. What is the problem? She is trying new things. Sure. Today's sexual <laughs> preference. Tomorrow, Hannah tattoos. Okay, so, let's see. Oscar Wilde is too flip. Emily Dickinson is too trite. It has to be just so. Maybe George Eliot. Why do I have to have a coat again? Well, let's see. If it's brainy enough, it'll weed out the real unwashed masses. And if it's well chosen, you come across as someone who understands the plight of your perspective partner, right? The plight of humanity. And by couching that understanding in the words of a great writer, you appear sophisticated, but, but, but earnest. Grounded, but hopeful. Oh my God, sweetie. You're going to have more pussy than you know what to do with. Here, take a look. Rilke? Rilke. Rilke is very profound. Here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is say, for friendship or more. Wait, why? Because then you have access to all the bi-curious straight girls. Straight girls? But those? Trust me. Virgin flesh, manja. Bring that. Let's go. Professional E E U W S V G L N S D W M seeking same. <laughs> what could that mean? I'm not really versed in single scene acting. <laughs> oh, listen to this one. This guy used a quote. Oh my God, it's so cute. It is not inertia alone that is responsible for human relationships repeating themselves. It is shyness before blah, 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 blah. This one stinks. Actually, I think it's Freud. Uh, what are those? Oh, sorry. Guess I should read on. But only someone... Does he, um, describe himself? Esoteric quote man? Let's see. Oh, that's women seeking women. You know what, guys? Um... I really have a lot of work to do. Would you mind, Harley? No, 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 no. Thanks. 
Jess? Yeah. Charles can make it tonight after all, so you're gonna get to meet him. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Good. That'll be great. Thanks. Hey, Johnny, it's okay if we bring a date tonight? Oh, sure. The more the merrier. Right. I'll see you tonight. somebody pretty special. Um, her name's Michelle, and it's early, but uh, I don't know, it feels right. Charles, I thought you were single. Didn't you tell me that, honey? Uh, I thought so. I'm sorry, is this supposed to be a setup? No, 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 no way. No, not a setup, just, just, uh, just a friendly dinner. Absolutely, just a group of friends. Yes, Matthew and I just like to have our friends know each other. Well, you know, Jessica, don't worry about it. I mean, it's, you know, we've all been through it. It's just a jungle out there. Yeah, especially for Stein. I mean, she always has trouble meeting people who are good enough for her. Yeah. Oh, God, I wish I had your luck, Josh. I see you have no trouble meeting people of your caliber. You know, Stan, why don't you cut yourself a break? I mean, it's obviously not the time to be meeting someone anyway. Really? But not the season? No. It's just because you're clearly not open to it. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm sorry, how do you know? Well, I do have a little history to draw from, but even if I didn't, you've known um, Charles here for about an hour, and in that time, You've insulted and dismissed a panoply of men based on factors as reductive as a linguistic misstep, a different view from yours on going Dutch, a kind reaction to your legendary lateness, and a genuine interest in yoga. You know, I think it was Anais Nen who said, we don't see things as they are. We see things as we are. <laughs> Generally, I'm not much of a Nen fan, but, but I do feel that bit sums you up to a T, Stein. 
So I don't think the problem's with these poor men, these freaks and morons, as you put it. I think the problem is with you. said this on the phone and and I didn't and I'm sorry that I didn't but you should really know that this isn't me it isn't not at all That's why this, but really I'm still me. See? I see. Well, look, we don't have to do a whole big... We could just get a drink, yeah, you know? I don't think so. Taxi! Oh, come on! You don't want to go to your dinner so frazzled. Um, oh, my dinner. Right, right. Yeah, I think a little red wine would really help to, you know... <laughs> look, uh, um, you seem really nice. I just, I, I made a mistake. I, I have to go. and not funny or or smart but 
funny in a totally unappealing way, you know? Just like funny stupid or funny dopey, but not funny witty or funny ironic or funny goofy, you know? Or, 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 or they seem smart, and then you realize that they aren't at all, and that's funny, but <laughs> funny, tragic. Mm. So anyway, if you're then lucky enough to find someone who's the good kind of smart and the good kind of funny, then generally they're just kind of ugly. Ugly, I'm sorry. Yes, a little. Is that, that's awful. No, <laughs> ugly doesn't do it for you. That's okay. <laughs> Me, I'm kind of into ugly. What? As long as it's sexy ugly. Sexy ugly. I'm define. <laughs> well, you can. It just is, you know. Sexy ugly. Okay, well, um, could you, um, could you give me a celebrity who would fall into the category? Um, yeah. Hold on a second. I'll get you one. Um, Angelica Houston? Is uh, that kind of the right idea? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say Mick Jagger. Oh. He's the big one. Oh, Lyle Lovett, um, James Woods, Harvey Keitel. Very sexy, ugly. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so you're not, I mean, you, you've tried, um, you, you've dated men. Of course. Oh, good. Good. I'm, no, I'm relieved. I, I, I just, I assumed that you had. Oh, I have. Uh, also. Oh. Yeah, I, um, I just find a lot of different things sexy. Oh, I don't. So, should we settle the tab? What? Yeah, it's um eight ten. Don't you have a? Oh, oh uh, no, you don't. No, but I thought I lied. I know a great ending place. Helen. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Sure. What color lipstick are you wearing? Well, it's three different kinds. I blend. Really. Really? Wow. Would you like to know the... Oh, do, would you feel comfortable? Is no, that something you said? I'd love to share. Uh, I start with MAC Viva Glam 3, uh -huh. which is a great base. Right. And then I add Prescriptive's Poodle on top. Oh my god, I love Prescriptive's. Oh, I know the it is the best. It's the moisture and I it. know. It's and then I finish with Philosophy Supernatural Nude, which is more of a... Of a glossy kind of thing? Exactly, for the shine. Right. Right. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. It looks um, just beautiful on you. Oh, thank you. Hey, you should try it yourself. It would look gorgeous on your complexion. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the, uh, the blending thing is a little, uh, a little labor intensive for me, you know. I'm kind of looking for that one. Mm -hmm. Wow. You'll never find it. I'm telling you. Blend. Alright, so I am tying up. It's all. Uh, okay. <laughs> Rose and Stephen and Craig? Greg. Greg. Yes. Greg, right. Okay. And, um, do you have a favorite? Uh, no. Not particularly. Well, does one of them get, you know, more time than everyone else, or, you know, favor one? No. I mean, basically, I call Roland when I'm hungry, Stephen when I'm bored, and Greg when I'm horny. Who do you call when you're sick? I don't get sick. Oh, good system. But that's crazy. Who doesn't do email? I hate computers. I object to them. Well, you must use them at the office. Yes, at work, I'm forced to. What? Never at home. You know what? Even at the office, I don't send emails. I just receive them. But, but. <laughs> <laughs> what?
<laughs> Have you discussed this with your therapist? Oh no. <laughs> there's uh, there's too much on the agenda already, you know. Like what? Um, this is your usual. Older, nothing to show for it, no kids or anything. Why am I on the planet like that? Oh, they're so crazy. Um, no more so than anyone else. What? <laughs> a little more so, I'd say. I don't think so. But they are, objectively. I think they're, you know, just doing their thing. They don't do anything. They just play the tambourine all day and ask people for money. They have no gold. I think they have a pretty lofty goal. Oh, really? What? New robes? Spiritual enlightenment? <laughs> Happiness, oh, huh? They're weird. Look at them. They're happy. Weird. They're happy. What? You know, some people smoke pot, some people bungee jump, some people chant. What do you do to be happy? Nothing, I'm not. Wait, 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 but I have a job. I mean, I'm accomplishing something in the world. Oh, really? What are you accomplishing? I'm, I'm bringing the news to people, you know, information. I'm being a grown-up. I'm not just out for me and my enlightenment. What they do is selfish. Selfish? Yes, they, they are dealing with their adults. stuff and the energy they put out to the universe. That's a lot more valuable than being miserable all the time. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm sorry. Are you saying that, that my life has no value? No. I am saying that maybe underneath all the neurosis, you have a profound capacity for happiness that you're not allowed really? to. You think I could be profoundly maybe. happy? How do you know? How do you know? You, you can't can possibly know who you are or how you'll respond to something until you try it. Well, I happen to disagree. I happen to think if you know yourself well, you can gauge how you're going to react to something. And I can pretty much assure you that I will never be made happy by chanting for spiritual enlightenment. Or maybe you would. You can't know. Trust me, I know. You know. Yeah, I know. You know how you'll react to everything. Pretty much, yes. I guess you're right. You seem to know yourself pretty well. It's not that she cared about what I think. Josh, she left before dessert. I think she was a little upset. Well, did you talk to her over the weekend? I left her three messages. She didn't return any of my calls. I think she's devastated. Hey, you guys. I brought donuts. Just what I said on Friday night is. Oh, mm -hmm. hey, no problem. You had an opinion and you expressed it. Maybe mm -hmm. you were right. No, no, I mean, really. I mean, who am I to. What did you say? Uh, I said maybe you were right. Yeah. Glad to know our feelings. Yeah. Oh, hey, Josh. Yeah. Do you ever use marinate as a verb? I mean, no, not as a verb. As a verb in uh, other arenas than food preparation. What do you mean, like to sit with? I have a right to, to uh, sit with something, to let something marinate. No. Oh, I love it. Don't worry about it. Ah, uh, can we cut to the 
chairs for a sec. Just get the um, hard topics out of the way. Um, sure. W what's on your mind? Um, well, uh, uh, it's just that, that, that whenever I have thought about lesbianism in the past, I've always said, ew. You know, just, just, ew. Just can't go there. Can't get excited. I mean, what would we do? You know? Right, right. I mean... This is your big issue. Right, right, right. right. So. But I, I had such a wonderful time with you the other yeah, night. I really did. And I've been um, marinating on things. And um, anyway, I have taken the liberty of getting some informational materials on the topic. And I wondered if I might. Oh, of course. Okay, okay. Well, uh, this, this one leaflet was particularly intriguing to me. Lesbian sex, hot, safe, and sane. Do you know it? Uh, no, but please share. I, I'd love to see it. Okay, well, um, I was surprised to learn that lesbians accessorize. I didn't know that. So, for example, on page um, 11, I dog-eared it, they show some of the higher tech lesbian accoutrement. Um, wow. Wow. Yeah. So, gosh, um, h how would this work? Well, I think I would just strap that on. Oh, no, no, that's not fair. I mean, we should certainly trade off and share the load in terms of giving and receiving, but that doesn't address the actual gross out factor, if you will. Oh, no offense. Oh, no offense. No, none, none taken. Okay, because, I mean, no. look at you. Who wouldn't want to have sex with you, right? I mean, do you. But, um... Look, I, Jess, I, let's not put the cart before the horse here with all the high-tech stuff, you know, because we don't need any of that. We don't? I myself have always preferred the standard, organic, old-fashioned way. Right. You're right. <laughs> so that'd be just... Well, it's basically okay. the same as with a man, except minus one thing, you know? Right. <laughs> yes, well, right. Right, and let's face it, it's the other stuff that works for women anyway, right? Yes, well, that is, um... That is true. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. Nice place. Thanks. So is that very white? Uh, no. Oh. I'm gonna have to go slow, okay? Oh, okay. Whatever you need. Is this for Tom? Um, I think we should just play it by ear. Just see how it goes. Okay. Okay, great. Great. Mm. You got a blue eye. It's deeper than any blue. As for the green one, I think that it's oh, just. Oh, sorry, just a bit. Sorry. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Stomach. I know. I can't do that ever, really, even with a man. Tell me you oh. Well, okay. The green one. Okay. Maybe it's just. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> Watch a devilish deal like mixed with such black mendacity. Each time those crazy eyes gaze on. That was really good. I thought that was, you know, best thing ever. Me too, definitely. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. And you'd really... Not at all. 
Oh, how about 10 days? 10 days is better. Okay. Good. Mm. What does your therapist say about all this? Oh, I can never tell my therapist. Why not? Because it's private. It's not working out. I thought you said you really liked her. I did. I do. It's just not working out. Why not? Because she's a cock tease. I mean a tease. Right. Right. And she's nervous and neurotic and straight and not that into it. And I don't have time. Okay, I took out an ad for Christ's sake, and I end up with the Jewish Sandra D. I mean, what are the odds? Who do you have to blow to get some pussy around here, you know? Enough is enough. On to the next. Onwards and upwards. Right, right. Plus, she doesn't even get it. She thinks it's going great. Shula Gallery. Hi. Hi. How are you? Yeah, no, that's fine. Why would I mind? Eight o'clock is perfect. Okay, I'll see you there. Bye. Is she twelve? <gasps> you a little jumpy today, Sam? No. You got a hot date. No. Yeah. Who's the guy? There's no guy. Oh, come on. You're a terrible, terrible liar. Trust me. There's no guy. <laughs> When the special girlfriend meets a special girlfriend For a little shopping, shopping, shop, they're hoping, shopping without stopping There's no greater pleasure than to shop together And the special girlfriend tells the special girlfriend You're my special girlfriend Oh, you're my favorite girlfriend My sweet and pretty girlfriend I trust you, my girl some residual anger from college. You guys went to college together? Yeah. No, he went with my brother. I, I was a freshman when they were senior. We dated right? for a year. Really? Mm-hmm. So what happened? Well, she didn't think I was living up to my potential. Yeah, because I thought She thought I was going to be the next anyway. Whatever. He was an extremely talented writer. Now he's a professional eye dotter and tea crosser. Let's just get well, we the, thought um, Stein was going to be the next Georgia O'Keefe, and she's actually turned out to be a pretty good tea crosser herself. <laughs> okay, pleasure is always. You so hate it? No, I don't. I'm a hack. I'm really a hack. I don't at all. Look, we can go. I just gotta get this one thing. Listen, can I just use the bathroom? Oh yeah. I'm sorry. It's um through that door, and it's right at the elevator left of the water fountain. Um, 
It's a left in the water fountain. the heart lies. Okay, you get an attic. Well, you so get an attic. I like it. The and not the fortune. Okay, is it him? I mean, uh, I, what does anyone... Excuse me? Oh, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. What does anyone get a fortune? Yeah. I'm not just I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Things. There are no fortunes being dispensed there. The emperor has a club. I don't know. I mean, I'm a slow Hey, sorry to interrupt this big debate here, but me and my friends over at the bar have a little pool going. And, uh, basically, we want to determine... Um, which one of you is more beautiful? All right. Who won? Well, you see, that's the thing. I mean, we're sitting over there scratching our heads, you know, because it's close, you know. And so we thought we'd come over here and, uh, you know, buy you some drinks, do some research. Yeah, I think we're fine. Today. Oh, no, please join us. Oh, we okay. would love that. What? Because we were just trying to settle an argument, too. Really? What about? Oh, yeah. Well... No, it's kind of weird. Come on, tell us. Okay, we were just wondering whether a woman who's only been with men could ever be sexually attracted to a woman. What do you think? Do you think she could? <laughs> well, hey, I think she could, definitely. <laughs> if she couldn't, she should. <laughs> Crap. God, what is that about? What? What is that male obsession with lesbian sex about? I don't get it. You know what? You don't have to answer that. Please oh, come don't. on. It's just sexy, right? And yeah, yeah, it's kind of hard to describe. I mean, a woman alone is sexy. I mean, God bless. But two women together is like, it's like double sexy. Right. Double sexy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. That's nicely put. Yeah, that um really is. Nicely put, but tell us exactly, exactly what is it about two women together that you find so exciting? Yeah. Oh, come on, you know, their whole, their whole thing, you know, like the way they touch. Really? How do they touch? Well, you know, when they, well, the woman is, is soft, you know, so when they touch each other, it's like they're soft. Well, women really know how to touch. <laughs> but what would they do, I wonder? Who cares what they do? Just two women's bodies together is just hot. Their hips, their legs, their belly buttons. I mean, it's all good. Yeah, and obviously two women together would know how to, you know, you know. they know everything uh, works in there. Like how what works? <gasps> Jess, what's the matter? Nothing. Ah, uh, nothing. I just, I have a slight leg cramp. Oh, you really should get that looked at. Yeah, yeah, thank you for the concern. No problem. Um, you know what, guys? I think we really, really have to get going. Oh, no, oh, listen, we need to drink, drink or something. Oh, uh, no, 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 you know what? I'm a little worried about Jessica's leg. Yeah. And I really think I should get her into bed. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. well, it's nice right. meeting you. Yeah, Take care. Take care. Bye. You see, that's the thing about women. They really know how to take care of each other. But I just did some good, and and I'm gonna get going. So you guys should carry on. Wait, and wait, I, just you um forgot that juicer you wanted to borrow. So I'll, I'll just get it for you. Excuse us. What are you doing? 
you are finally getting some light. I know, I know, I felt it too, but what if I couldn't get that back? What? Look, maybe we bit off more than we can chew here, you know? I mean, no. you have needs, I get it. And he's really hot. I think you should go for it. I think you should just have a home. No, no, and stop, stop talking. Point. Stop talking. I want him to leave, and I want you to stay, okay? So I'm gonna go get rid of him. No, 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 no. no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Look. Look, what if he leaves, and then, and then I chicken out again, and you don't get me, and I'm wrecked with guilt. No. Helen, he's a sure thing, and I'm not, okay? So just have fun. I adore you. We'll try again tomorrow. Okay, sweetie? Really nice to meet you, friend. Makes me treat you the way that I do. Gee, baby, I'm not good to you. There's nothing in this world too good for a girl so good and true. Gee, baby, I'm not good to you. Bought you a fur coat for Christmas, a diamond ring, a big Cadillac car, and everything. What makes me treat you the way that I do? That's the pacing. Oh, this is so humiliating. That's not to talk, talk, talk. Okay. You'll talk more for a change. Uh-huh, very funny. You're getting funny. That must mean you're feeling better. Jesus, what's all this? Oh, um, options. I'm a big medicator. Oh my god, that's the best thing ever. Cheers, please, Helen. Mm. You have to give me the recipe. But you don't need it. You don't get sick. Jessica Stein's desk. Yes, hello. I'm, I'm looking for my daughter. Excuse me, to whom am I speaking? It's Josh Myers, Judy. How are you? Joshy. Joshy! I haven't spoken to you in ages. Yeah, no, it's been a long time. How are you? How am I? I'm fantastic. How am I? I'm just, you know, I'm excited about the wedding. The what? The wedding. Didn't Jesse tell you? She didn't. Daniel is getting married. Oh, Danny. Um, well, th that's wonderful. Uh, Mazel tov. Thank you. I can't believe that Jesse didn't tell you. Well, you're invited, of course, not to worry. That's that's sweet of you, Judy. You know, um, yeah, how, how is Danny? Um, you know, I haven't really talked to him in a while. Dan, Dan is floating on air. That's how he is. As a matter of fact, He's going to be here in a few minutes. He's flying in for sh Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You'll join us for Shabbos dinner. You have plans? Oh, my God. What are you doing here? I'm coming to get you. What? Day 10. I got a hotel. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, I... I have a train to catch Shabbos dinner in Scarsdale. Cancel. I 
Yeah, my brother's in town. Cancel. Yes, I'm old lady. I don't got all day. Uh, Come on, yeah. I gotta get out of here. Uh, okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? Let's just, uh, we'll talk in here. We'll think. I can't think. No, Wait, no, 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 I just got off the phone. I with... can't come. Something's come up. What? Um, no, no, no. See, uh, my new friend Helen, the one I've told you about, she, um, she just got last minute house seats to cabaret. And you know, I've been dying to go. So what I'm thinking is, is I will come up first. Again. No, no, no. You are coming tonight no. and I will get you tickets for cabaret next week. No. Oh, that's, that's impossible. The run sold out. So well, she, she, did your friend write that? Yeah, she's right. No. Jessica. Ma no, 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 no. It's my son. What? Put her on. Just for me. Okay? Hello? Ellen, darling, it is so wonderful to finally talk to you. Y yes, hello. I just happen to have a neighbor who's got a son who was a swing in the production, and I know that I can get you the most fantastic seats for cabaret this week, which would be my pleasure. Not to mention the fact that the lead who's this really big deal is out all this week. Can you believe that? Because he's got these soft nodules on his vocal cords, so it would be, it would be a damn shame for you to go tonight. You know what you're going to do? You are going to join us for Shabbos dinner. Ah! And we can finally meet. So I am setting a place for you at this table as we speak. And my husband, Sydney, is going to pick you up at the train in an hour. Okay, Don? Um, okay. <laughs> Shabbos dinner in Scarsdale. <laughs> That's right, Helen, right there. Oh, and Jess, uh, would you sit here, please, between Stanley and me? Uh, okay, Stanley, it's just lovely to have you here. It's Thank lovely you to be here. Thank and you. Your pleasure is ours. And, of course, Helen. Oh, my God, Jesse has told us so much about you. Oh. It's, it's, it's wonderful that you could make it. Oh, thank you. It's lovely to be here. Why don't you answer it? Myers, what the hell are you doing here? I was invited to Shabbos dinner. By whom? By Judy. What? Oh, it's okay. We can raise the kids into faith. I'm willing to bend. Um, oh, well, I did go to a Seder once, but that's about the extent of my Jewish education. Well, we'll do our best to represent all Jews everywhere. Jesse, Kiddish. Oh, yes, okay. Baruch Atai. Hello, Ella. sing, my Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Adam Barim Hamotzi Lechem Min Haoret Amen. Good Shabbat. Good Shabbat. Good Shabbat. Good Shabbat. It does me such good to have all of you at this table, especially my children, my beautiful son. Who's a fancy lawyer now. And then my daughter, who's the big no, deal yeah, now. The new oh, I'm a copy editor. Big oh, deal to me. Is she that gorgeous, Dan? Look at that photo. Look at her. Photo. She is beautiful. So, Helen, Jessica tells us that you own an art gallery? Um, Jessica Lane Stewart Hyperbole. I'm the assistant director at the Schiller Gallery in Chelsea. Um, what kind of work do you show there? Contemporary abstracts, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. I saw Diana Tompkins exhibit last month. And Stanley is the vice president of new software development for IBM. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, if you need a great deal on a new PC, uh, just let me know. I'm your man. Jessica, Jessica hates, hates computers. computers. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 that's, that's okay, that's fine. I just, um, I just feel like they're numbing and obscuring our humanity, you know. Angel? Could you, um, help me in the kitchen, please? Certainly. She likes to her mom. Oh, no, I'm just going to her mom. I like that. He's adorable. He is bright. And what's more, he is your father's partner's nephew, so you'll be nice. I don't want to I don't want to be nice. Okay? okay. 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 For the record, all of your setups have been disastrous. Disastrous? Yes, they How have. was I to know that Eric Birnbaum was in rehab? Good. One pale track marks? I don't know. I thought he had diabetes. Can I help with anything? Yes, you can make my daughter a little less stubborn and a lot less picky. Oh, tall order. Thanks. Let me ask you something, honey. Isn't Stanley gorgeous? Yeah. He's a, he's a handsome guy, Jess. Wouldn't he make a great match? I mean, he would be a great match, wouldn't he? I think it's a very good match. And you know what? I think Jess really likes him. Yes, yes, clearly I'm smitten. Great. It's not happening. It's not happening, no. What about you, Helen? How do you like Josh? Oh, um, he's great, but my plate's a little full right now. Imagine a beautiful girl like you. You probably have men falling all over your left and right. I do, okay. I just wish that Jessie would meet somebody. I mean, it's been ages since she's met anybody with Arthur. Is she dating at all? Uh, I think so. You know, now and again. But no one special. You know, I just don't know. Keep me posted, will you? Sometimes Jesse is so secretive with me. Would you do that for me? You know, I'm sure if it's someone really special, she'll tell you. And our platform is compatible with the new camera software, so soon your local Photoshop will be a thing of the past. Do you hear this? They're putting photocopiers in the computers now. This technology is unbelievable. I know. Stanley's a genius. Well, I, I didn't actually invent the thing, but... You're uh, a genius. Potatoes? So, Helen, uh, what groundbreaking project is on your docket next? Um, well, actually, I'm curating a show this summer for new artists. New artists? Well, Jessie's work should be in that. Have you yeah. seen her stuff? Oh. I haven't. Isn't that funny? She is marvelous. Oh. That's her mm. painting right over there. She was the rage at Brown. Mm. Jess, that's really good. Yeah, don't bother. She won't listen. <laughs> All right, it's settled. No one's leaving. The rain's terrible. We've got warm beds. Everyone stays. Good note. Enough said. I hope you girls don't mind sharing. No problem. We'll be okay. Right, Jess? Yes. Um, yeah, we'll be fine, Mom. You sure it's big enough? I think we'll just fit. Good night. Night. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. Stop. Good night, Stanley. Good night. Poor Stanley. Let's give him a nice round of Didn't know what he was getting into, huh? Nice pot of money tonight. How about a nice Those Stein women are tough to please. They're a better man than me, clearly. Oh, yeah. So, how's your writing coming? Oh, uh, you know. Not. What do you mean? Uh, I decided that I didn't really want to be a writer anymore. I'm much happier tearing down the work of other writers who are not as talented as I am, but also not as paralyzed. Any artistic frustration I have now, I just take out on them. <laughs> Damn, man. You got dark. This is so weird.
in a month of such normalcy. <laughs> to meet him. How about brunch on Sunday if my water doesn't break by then? I, the thing is, we're kind of laying low this weekend, he and I, but, um, but maybe next week. Not maybe. Definitely. Definitely. Knock, knock. Oh, <laughs> Hi. <clears throat> Is everything okay? Yeah, why? You just, you don't seem like yourself lately. Yeah, well, you know, you don't either. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> oh, hey, did you get the wedding invite? Yeah. <laughs> They're beautiful, right? Yeah, it's great for Danny. Yeah, we're excited. Yeah, you okay. Well. Why can't you be happy for me? Because you are an affront to gay people everywhere, and I am a gay people. Is it so hard to believe that I like her? Yes. Why? Because you like the penis. Because you have had more cock than I have, and I was a big whore in the 80s. I'm, I'm sorry, man. Come on, come on. This is not something that you can just try on and see if it fits, okay? I can't just put black shoe polish on my face and join a gospel choir because, you know, I don't know. I don't feel so white no more. Oh, come on. That's a terrible analogy. Why? Why is that? Because you're born black. Exactly my point. Okay. Okay, so what do you think? It's genius, right? Who died? Apparently, I'm an affront to the gay community. Oh, not this again. No, stand Martin, stand Martin stand why stand. do you care who I'm with? Yes, why do you care? 
She likes this girl. Straight girl. Straight girl, gay girl, what's the difference? An orgasm is an orgasm. Look, if you were blindfolded and I blew you and then Helen blew you, would you even know the difference? I don't know, that depends. Does Helen get tired and stop halfway through? Okay, too much information, okay, well, guys. Okay, that happened once and you were so drunk that you could hardly even... Okay, you know, look, the point is, this person that Helen's with seems lovely and smart. And a very talented artist who's going to be in our show. Have you met her? Well, no. Okay. Why haven't we met her? down on you, it seems like you like it, but then oh, sometimes it sounds like you're in oh. and you know what, it's not really the right time to turn your back. But it's never the right time, especially at the time, which strikes me as exactly the right time. And you never do what are you doing here? Oh my god, Joan, hi! 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 hi. What, are you, what are you doing here? Shopping, of course. Hi. 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 Uh, Joan, this is Helen, a friend of mine. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. This is Joan. What are you doing below 14th Street? I thought you were laying low. Yes, I was. I, he, I, we were, and uh, and then um, my friend Helen here actually volunteers for this um, this homeless thing, and um, she, I had, I had actually promised to help her make brownies today, and so we're uh, we're we're getting the ingredients to make the brownies. Let's make a pretty good brownie. Let's be a Jesus Christ! I couldn't think of one thing to say. I couldn't I think of anything else. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's crazy, right? It's like this surreal episode. Are you horrified? Oh Are you? Do you find me disgusting? No, 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 sweetie, no. Are God. you sure? Oh Are my you God. sure? Are you kidding? I'm, I'm impressed. You are. I can't even get mad to use the sex toys I buy. And you're so conservative. Fuck you. I know. I know. <laughs> Does anyone else know? No. No. Are you crazy? Don't tell Josh. Ugh, Don't no. Tell Josh. No, I, I won't. What you do. I won't. Don't ever. I won't. Okay. God, this is Shut you. And it's so <sighs> radical. I know. God, tell me everything. How did you meet this person? What? How did this? Oh, don't tell uh, me. You no, no, answered no, no, that. No, 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 I don't no, believe no, it. Oh my God! Why are you a hypocrite? Just the best guy. Oh no, it was a whim. You know what? It was just a whim. It was this wacky, nutty whim. I mean, you know that I'm a real good fan, and I read that ad, and I thought it would be nice to meet someone just as a friend. Oh my god, it's all wrong, it's all wrong. It's not me, it's not me. I'm a dude from Scar, so this has got stuff. I'm gonna call her on the phone, it's got stuff, and we have to pretend I'm never any nothing. Stop! I'm stop. Shh. You're hysterical! I'm call. No, I'm not. <sighs> What's she like? She's great. Mm. She's, um... Kind and witty and quirky and nurturing and involved and all that crap, but she's a girl, you know? She's she's thin. She has um thin arms and she's soft and attentive and it's all wrong. How's the sex? It's good. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Does she make you laugh? Oh, yeah, yeah, a lot. We laugh a lot. 
Is she as smart as you? Yeah, <clears throat> definitely. She gets you? She does. Mm. She really does. I mean, I think the thing is we just really click, you know? Mm. Sounds like you definitely need to put a stop to this. Am I wearing this? This is so <laughs> bad. For Rachel, you are wearing this, my love. Right. You look beautiful. I look beautiful. Yeah, I'm totally beautiful. I'm like a heifer in her fifth month. <laughs> You want to eat? Yes, I'm starving. Let's head out of Good. here. Good. Huh? I made a reservation just next door. Oh, and I left a message for Helen. What? In case you... There she is. What? I left a message for Helen in case she wants to join us for lunch. Hi, dear. Hi. Who are you? What's all this? <laughs> Very funny. No, really. What's going on? These are our dresses, sweetheart. For the wedding. For Daniel's wedding. Didn't I tell you my brother's getting married? No, you didn't. You didn't tell her? No, oh, no, I did. I, I was sure that I had. When? When did I tell you? No, when is he getting married? Next weekend. Didn't you get the invitation? Oh my God, Jesse. I'm sorry. Je Je Jesse, what did I say? What happened? Nothing. nothing at all. It's uh, it, it, her brother uh, died at his wedding and he died. Yeah, I. I'm off. Explain later, okay? Her brother died at the wedding. Thank you. Please wait. Your brother is getting married in a week, and you didn't tell me. I, that's. I, I. I. I was sure I told you. I thought. Stop I, I, saying I, you told me. You're a terrible liar. It's one of your best qualities. Alright, please don't do this. Here. Look, look, I am so tired of this. I am so tired of being left out of half of your life. We're in a relationship. in a relationship, whether you like it or... Wait a minute, why am I whispering? This is the point! Okay, okay, listen, we have been through this, okay? I have never, ever considered anything like this. But and here we are. It's happening, and it's good, and I'm not ashamed of it. And if you are, then we have a problem. She hates that dress. It's not crazy, you know, you know, it is good, it's, it's great, but I, I'm just not ready to deal with the complexities of... God, you can't even say it. Say what? Say what? I have never, ever imagined doing anything like this. Well, okay. you are doing something like this. This didn't just happen to you. It did. I mean, it, it, it feels like it did. You know, I'm sorry. I well, can't look, just... Jess, I can't be with you and be intimate with you and share wonderful things with you and then get shut out of the most basic things in your life. What is so terrible at having privacy in this? In, um... In, in, in taking our time to see if it makes sense, you know? Because, I mean? Jess, when you don't acknowledge who I am to the people that matter to you, it makes me feel like you're ashamed of me. I'm not. I'm not well, ashamed of you. you. Oh, it's good. What do you want from me? I want you to take me to your brother's wedding. I can't. I'm sorry. I just can't. Fine. I can't either.
Jessica takes such risks in her work, huh? <laughs> she certainly doesn't anywhere else. Is it Jess? Just, um, sometimes I think I'm going to be alone forever. <laughs> you can jump in any time. You're my love, you know that. My beloved. Sometimes I worry for you. I worry for me too. <laughs> Sweetheart. I will never forget when you were in the fifth grade and you were so excited when you got the lead in the play. Do you remember that? Really, really Rosie? Rosie? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you came home after the first day of rehearsal, and you turned to me and you said, Mommy, I'm not going to do it. I quit. Just like that. And I turned to you and I said, Jesse, Jesse, my love, why? And you said, because my co-star isn't good enough. And if my co-star isn't good enough, then the play won't be good enough. And I don't want to be part of any play that isn't good enough. And I thought to myself, boy, this child will suffer. How this child will suffer. And then they gave it to the Miskite with the glasses. Tess Greenblatt. Right. God, she was terrible. Right, and you would have been great. And you didn't get to do it. You had to sit there and watch terrible Tess do it with that, that guy that you thought wasn't good enough who was actually quite excellent, wasn't he? He was. He was very good. And you know... I always think that 
you would have been so much happier doing that play. Even if it was just okay. Even if it was great. Just not the best ever. And maybe. Just maybe. It would have been the best ever. You never know. Jesse. Yeah. I think I think she's a very nice girl. Jessica, hi, it's uh, Josh Myers, and uh, I just wanted to, uh, God, I wish you were home. I, uh, I'm wearing this. Do you have any interest in this one? I don't know what she sees in her mother. She's flat-chested. Jesus. But at least you're Jewish, right, dear? Um, no, but I've been to a Seder. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> okay. Congratulations. I'm sorry, I'm a little late. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Congratulations. I mean, you could, of course, each try artificially inseminating. Could you excuse me for a minute? I really have to pee. Did you see the view? No, I, uh, I have another chance, actually. Well, why don't we just go look at it? Yeah. 
Are you, uh, are you cold? No, I'm fine. Hey, why don't you uh, take my jacket? Oh, really? I'm fine. Jessica. What? Are you okay? Yeah, why? I <laughs> just, um, I haven't heard you say my first name in like a decade. Oh, right, sorry. It's fine, just take my coat. <laughs> okay, thanks. It's just like, is it a guy? No, it's not. No. It's not. How's it different? Well, the lips are softer, and the body's softer, and there's this non-threatening but very exciting... It's kind of hard to describe. Wow. It's pretty fucking awesome, actually. <laughs> like a year, right? Like, and that's well, it. That's an hour, and then you've impacted the entire world. <laughs> this is exactly. I feel, I feel like um. I've always had this theory along these same lines, it's really stupid, but I've always felt like if you could just be the guy or gal to come up with a really good quote. Right. Do you know? But good, yeah. but like a good, good one. A good little nugget, right. you know, like nothing to fear, but to fear yourself, or yeah. I've stopped with your country, right? That's a good one. And then you're done, you know? I mean, that's like immortality in one kind of light bulb moment, you know? You just go off to some Caribbean island and... Drink all day and read and swim. What are you doing? Um, I just, uh... Hey, 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 Myers, take it easy. We got plenty, you know? It's a, it's yeah, I just, you know, I, I know, I, ne I needed that. Unfortunately, badly, because I have to tell you something, and it's just going to be hard. Oh. Oh, my God. Are you firing me? Is that what you brought the quitting? No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, no, I am really not firing weird. you. I went to see your show last night, and uh, I brought you uh, flowers because I knew you were really sad, but, you know, the truth is, is that you've been really happy lately. I've noticed, I mean, so happy, and that's made me really sad, inexplicably deeply sad. I mean, you know, I mean, different than my general snarky, bitter, tortured thing. And, um, so anyway, I, I went to see your show not knowing exactly why. And, uh, I saw your piece. And I stared. And then I had to get out of there. I ran home. And I started writing. I, just writing all night. And I wrote all night and into today. I mean, that's why I was late. I was I was writing, and you know what? I was uh, I was happy doing it. I was really happy for the first time in a long time. And as soon as I felt this thing, this happy thing, I I wanted to be with you. I mean, you were the first person I wanted to be with. I mean, then it hit me, and this was around 6 a.m., you know, it hit me that um, the reason that I was so sad when, when you got so happy and I was happier when you got so sad was not because I didn't want you to be happy. It was just because I wanted to be part of the reason you were happy. I want to make you happy. So, um, what I'm wondering right about now is, uh, I mean, if you have any 
any reaction to what I, what I just said or more specifically, do you want to have dinner with me tomorrow night? Maybe. You know, if you'll excuse me, I think I definitely need another drink. <laughs> Wait, I, um, I would have dinner with you, but I can't. I can't have dinner. What, not the season? <laughs> no, um, I can't have dinner with you because I'm with Helen. You're going to have dinner with Helen? I'm, um, with Helen. As in with? With? Right, with, with. Wow. I don't know what to say.
must be a pretty good book. It is. It's amazing, actually. Oh, that's enough reading for one night. Please stop it. I just want to finish this chapter. It's really interesting. I forgot to pick up my dry cleaning again. Oh, I got it. You do? Yeah. Can't we talk about this? No, sweetie, we've talked. We talk all the time. I know, I know. Isn't it great? Of course it's great. Our, and our talks are great. So good communication is the key to a successful relationship. We never have sex. What? Yes, we do. What do you mean? We don't. Yes, we do. Uh, when, I, when, when was the last time, honey, sweetie? I didn't think about it first. A month ago. Okay, okay, but it was, it was good. I mean, right? It was, it was, it was good, wasn't it good? You drank a bottle of wine. No, I didn't. That's not true. That's not true. I had maybe two and Jess, half. what we have is a friendship. What do you mean? We're best friends. I know, isn't it great? Of course it's great. It's great. It just isn't enough. How can you say that? I, I love you. I love you too. That isn't the issue. Well, what is the issue? What is the issue? I want to be with someone who wants me. I want you. I want to be with someone who craves me. Well, I, I, I crave you. Someone who wants to rip my clothes off. Why? 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 Why can't it just be great and then loving and tender? Why is that not enough for you? I don't understand. I mean, don't you think, don't you think maybe, maybe you place a little too much emphasis on sex? Have you ever thought that maybe it's just one component of a much larger package? Jesus Christ, I want the whole package! I do too! I think we have it! I think we have it! We live together! We have roommates! How can you say that to me? Um, can I just stick this on the board? Oh, or yeah. Is that fine? Sure. Mm. You're an artist. Oh, yeah. Trying to be. Mm. Thanks. I actually might know somebody. Oh, you yeah. know someone who might be interested? Could be. Really? Oh, well, maybe I'll. Should I leave you one? Should, yeah. Maybe I'll leave you three. <laughs> okay. Well, I would really be grateful. So, thanks for the, uh... Oh my god! Hi! 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 Hi. <laughs> how, how are you? I'm good! I'm, I'm great! How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Good! Yeah. God, it's been a really long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. No, 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 no,
say Wait, hi. I'm sorry. You go ahead. Go ahead. Speak. I'm sorry. Just how's your writing coming? It's good. It's you know. Glamorous. Yeah, so. all right. I can see that. <laughs> how's, how's the paper? Oh, um, I quit, actually. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I left a few months after you did. Really? That's great. Yeah, it yeah. was great. Yeah. It was really great. So you're, so you're painting? Um, yes. I mean, you know, not for cash, but yeah. Right, well, who needs cash? Who needs cash? <laughs> I do. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah, how's Helen? Oh, um, she's good. She's great. Um, we're not together anymore. I'm sorry. Thanks. Yeah. What happened? Um, she dumped me. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's bad. Yeah, it was I'm bad. Sorry. No, thank you. That's okay. What are you gonna do? Yeah. She um, she wanted to be with somebody a little more. A little more. A little more gay, I guess. That's the thing. Right. So, well. what are you gonna do, right? Yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> so, but um, we're friends now. Well, that's so good. It's good. That's very good. Yeah, that's it's very, very good. good. Yeah. But, um, friends are good. Friends are good. <laughs> Please turn that off. No, you turn it off. You said it. You gotta get up. I do have to get up. <laughs> what? You, I turned it last time. I right. do it. I'll make the coffee. I, I'll turn it off. Oh my god, you slept on my arm the entire night. Oh, wait. Wait, it's over. I <laughs> Come 
to marvel with me Don't even start for a sigh It doesn't help if you cry That's how I live and I'll die Devil may care Thank you. 